Hey guys, what's up? My name is Steven and welcome to another video tutorial series on CodeIgniter. Uh, in this series I'll be teaching you guys how to uh, integrate Facebook Connect into your CodeIgniter applications. Now this is an, this is an extremely powerful technology. Um, Facebook, the website Facebook, you may or may not have heard of it, has developed an entire API about how you can log in using Facebook Connect and have access to their entire um, database of users, only like the biggest internet database of users on the entire internet, as far as I know. Um, so uh, basically what our application is going to look like when we're finished this project is we'll be able, all it will be is just, I'm just going to teach you how to log in. We'll click on a button that says, that'll say log in with Facebook. Click on it and it'll take us to our, to a verification page on Facebook which will give us access to uh, give the user a decision whether or not to allow our application uh, to accessing all their information. Um, the reason for this is because Facebook, as you know, is probably as well as the biggest database, biggest online database. They have a massive um, firewall. They have like in incredibly awesome uh, validation and like user validation and things like that. Um, they use a technology called OAuth. Um, a or O A U T H, and to my to the best of my knowledge, it's the best way to validate a user. Just period, and so uh, and so using Facebook Connect to log in your users um, is awesome because that way they're handling all the validation and things like that when a user signs up to Facebook. And not only that, it's more convenient for you for your users. Um, another thing I want to quickly go over before I actually start anything is you may ask yourself, um, or one of the first things is, if it's so convenient, if all they have to do is click a button to log in, they don't have, or t and to register um, to my website, they don't have to tell me any of their information, like, um, how is this secure? Is this actually secure? Um, and the fact of the matter is, um, if you handle your validation, or at least a portion of your validation through Facebook Connect, and your users are actually using it, those users are more protected um, than, than normally, right? Because if a, if a user logs in using Facebook Connect, um, they're using Facebook's super secure um, uh, validation methods instead of our own, right? So we can write one that's good, um, which just like, it'll just send, say, an email, uh, an email to a user upon registration, like I've showed you how to do in the past. I, that's not a bad method of doing it. It's a very popular model. But what's even more popular and extremely trending right now is using the social media to log in. And uh, and yeah, so. OK, so that's all I'm really going to talk about before I actually get started. So uh, let's go ahead and start setting up our controllers, views, and our HD access. OK, um, first thing. I want to do is I've created a folder in my tutorials in my tutorials folder called three underscore Facebook Connect FB Connect. Here's where I'm going to do my first .ht access file. There it is. And then we'll go to Code Igniter. Igniter. Just search for that. Go to the wiki. Pages, scroll down to mod underscore rewrite. Now, most of the time, I actually just do this. I'll, uh, where is it? Mod, mod rewrite. There we go. Um, most of the time, I'll just copy this from existing projects, but because this is a tutorial series, I should do it from the website every time. So, um, because this isn't in the root URL of, of my web server. I have to actually specify the other folders where the project is located. In this case, that's tutorials slash three underscore FB connect connect followed by a forward slash. We'll save that and we'll test it out. I'll refresh this. I'll try accessing the welcome controller and the index function of that. And it appears to be working perfectly. Awesome. For more information on .hd access, um, you can view some of my other video tutorials. Um, I believe my introduction to CodeIgniter series covers it .hd access very well. Um, if you're a little shady on on how this works, 
or the reasons why I use it. Um, okay, so I'm, I'll just close out of this. Next thing I'll do is go to my controllers, go to my welcome.php. No, I'm going to exit out of this. I'm just going to rename it right away because, again, this is a very small project. I'm just going to name my main controller main. I'll open that up and actually rename it here. I'm going to clean up some of this code. And I'll save this. And then secondly, I want to uh, reroute my default controller to be the main controller instead of the welcome controller. So I'll come down here, set that to main. And uh, I want to make my view, I want to change my view right away too. It's to be instead of welcome message, I'll just rename this to login.php. I'll open it up. Okay. And I will just delete the styling like I always do. Change the title to login with Facebook Connect, FB Connect. And then delete some of this. Just say login. Save it. And now go back to my main controller and have it load the login view. So I'll save that and then this should uh, load my login view. Perfect. Um, and I guess really quick, I also want to, uh, instead of the index function loading the login view, I actually just want it to load another function or method in my main controller. So we'll go public login public function login and here's where I want to load my login view and then my index function will just redirect to my login view um, so login or to my login function sorry perfect now I should be able to access my main slash slash index have that access the index or the login view, and then I should also be able to go login, and that will take me to my login view as well. Perfect. Um, I'm going to end the video here. In the next video, we're going to talk about um, creating our own libraries before we actually um, look at importing the Facebook Connect SDK, which is what we'll be doing in this video.